The idea of subtractive color has been talked about increasingly these last few years, and it's mentioned with this type of mystique and awe that's usually indicative of a radical discovery or an idea that's largely misunderstood, and because it's misunderstood, has mysterious inner workings. To help with this, I'm releasing three short videos over these next three weeks. The first one is, well, this one. We're gonna look at the results that subtractive color gives us. Next week, we're gonna look at uh, additive versus subtractive color theory. And finally, I'm gonna do a plugin review for simplifying this whole process in DaVinci Resolve and some details on how to get that plugin for free. When filmmakers and colorists use the term subtractive color, most of the time what they're referring to is one of two things. First, as an image gains color and saturation, does it perceptually get darker or at least not brighter? And secondly, sometimes people are just referring to working with cyan, magenta, and yellow rather than red, green, and blue. Let's focus on that first one though because most of the time that's what people are referring to. So as an image becomes more colorful, it gets perceptually darker or at least not perceptually brighter. For an example, here are two images. With the image on the left, I'm going to increase saturation by using the saturation knob on my color panel. As you see, the image not only gets more saturated, but also perceptually brighter as well. Now, I'm pushing the saturation a lot further than normal to help with this example. Now, for the image on the right, I'm gonna increase colorfulness using a more subtractive method. While the overall saturation levels are similar, you'll notice that the image on the right feels deeper rather than brighter. I definitely have a preference towards the image on the right. Now, there's not one magical subtractive method. This is simply increasing saturation in HSV rather than HSL. Another model for working with this idea is simply building a grade where the more saturated a color is, the darker it gets. So do you see how here the neutrals stay the same, but the more saturated the colors get, the darker they are. This is a variation of what subtractive color can mean. Well, there's our quick introduction into subtractive color. Next week, we're going to get a bit more nerdy on color theory, and the last video is where we do that plug-in review and how to make these adjustments in Resolve. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. All right, see you next week.